Welcome back, everyone. And this time, I'm doing it right the first time so that I don't have to cut back into the level. You know? You know. You know, just... I meant to say skip. Okay, well, anyway, we're on planet Kanar, or Nar, however you want to pronounce it. That brain alien always attacks you, and you're going to be hard-pressed to avoid it. This is where the game starts getting a little harder than it was previously. Which I guess can be said for any level of any game, except for the ones where the levels get easier as you go on, because they were designed terribly. Moving on. This is the level where the supernovas will be useful. You can see the, uh, you can see the thing that's on the top, the little automatic person with the shocky head. I haven't showed that power to you yet, but okay. Hi from Those guys are brutal. They take like a million shots to kill, so... And they take twice as many punches. But anyway, I, I think it's like seven shots to... Seven shots of the way to get to kill them. Anyway, I haven't shown you the supernova yet, but I will. It kills all enemies, and in this level it does something a little different. Oh dear. Well... Ah! Uh, no. Get off me! Thank you. Glad they give you health, at least. Now, let's see if I can sneak over to this guy. Sneak past this guy. Ah, gotcha! Yeah, I'm not going to be talking as much during this level, because this level is very hard. Instead, enjoy the nice artwork of destruction and a destroyed city and stuff. This is a very terrifying level. Okay, here's a zip line. It's a new concept. New thingy, I guess. New gimmick. It's going to be in other levels. I think one other level. It's unlike that dragonfish thing, which everyone hates. Well, I assume... Well, I assume everyone hates the dragonfish thing. No, you will not hit me. Alright. These are just like the gates in level 1. And we move on. Let's get some of this thing. Oh, and, the, and I don't haven't told you yet, but this level is also kind of a maze. You will, you can get lost here. I usually do. See that symbol up there on that pillar? That's going to become relevant later. Because, um, well, it just is. I'll show you why later. Another thing I don't like about this level, I'm not a big fan of this level. I memorized that brain alien is going to be there. Psychic. Anyway, another thing I don't like about this level is that you have to keep switching weapons a lot. Because the super you need the supernova to open those gates. Oh, I didn't mention you need the supernova to open those gates. Probably should have mentioned that. I just shot that guy. Oh, also, there's a new human design. Like, we just saw a farmer as an ugly beehive lady so far, but now there are... Get out of my face. Yeah, he's getting now there are those scientist people. So let's go. There's just some bonus stuff. That way's bonus stuff. I'm not. I'm gonna ignore it. Keep walking. Oh no. Walking along, and and then it's just business as usual. Don't step in that toxin. It's just like water, except it's toxic. They both kill. Well, water still kills you, so. Oh, and the sad thing is, those guys, those robot guys, they don't die when they fall in water. They're like a special robot that doesn't die when it falls in water. Gee. That would have been nice. Why didn't they design us with that? That would be cool. So just continuing along. Use the supernova battery. Open up this crunch gate, which is what they're called, actually. I read it on the button. Sight! Punch! There you go. There we go. Wait, is that guy stuck in a wall? Or did that guy just walk through the rock? See, step. Look at that. Look how many shots! It didn't even kill him. I shot him, like, so many times. I used up all my ray again. Anyway. So, oop, that guy got back here. Oh. So, you see the symbol here? Now, it's going to be... It's much like the symbol we saw on the way... I mean, like, it's a different symbol, but it's in the same style. If you notice, that was a teleporter, by the way. It's activated by the supernova. Probably should have known. And if you notice, this symbol right here 
is the symbol we saw on the pillar. And that's the maze part, it's a teleport maze. There are these different sections. You have to try not to get lost. Oh, oh run away. So yeah, try not to get lost. Because, yeah, you'll get lost. And I have a map here. I have a map printed out right next to me. But I'm still going to get lost, just informing you right now. Oh hey, here are mines. I guess there was some sort of war on this planet, that's why it's all ruined and stuff. So yeah, luckily you can't shoot the mines. If you walk into the mines, you'll explode. Or at least the mines will. And you can sometimes cause a chain reaction with them. And unfortunately you can't shoot the mines, but what you can do is you can shoot the brain you can shoot the brain alien into the mines. So be careful of that. The mines cause a lot of damage, especially if you're hit by a lot of them. Finally! What is wrong with those robots? I mean seriously. This ground doesn't bounce like the last two, this is two levels ago, and I'm very sad about that. Oh dear. Well! Wait, which side of the portal am I on? Which side of the portal? I don't know. Bye, Mr. Brain Alien. Alright, let's continue on. We're pretend like that die didn't happen. Is this a special one? Or is this just getting me stuck in a wall? No, it just pushes, puts me around. Never mind. I'm just crazy. Let's continue on. Walking, walking, jump the jet, and hopefully we don't land in the water this time. Let's see. Oh, those are also mines, but they explode when you get close to them, as opposed to when you touch them. And ow, do not, you shall not punch. Nice try, Brain Alien. Aha. Oh, no, you don't. I'm gonna punch you in the face. He's gonna keep shooting at us. You're not gonna avoid exploding that one. Oh, what? You couldn't have exploded the robot for me? That's just me in game. Game. Try to rescue this one. Continue. A good rule of thumb is that if there's a zip line, take it. Also, a good rule of thumb is that if there's a crunch gate, go through it. A not so good rule of thumb is if there's a teleporter, activate it. It's not that good of a rule of thumb. As far as rules of thumbs go. Just adjusting my mic if you heard that. I don't know if that makes a sound. Maybe I have a really good mic that doesn't make sounds. Oh yeah, you can only activate the crunch gates from one side. So that's useful. Information. That is useful. And we go through and oh god, there's like, what is that noise? What is that noise? We'll find out what the- oh, there are- there are man rays there. What's with those manta rays? What are they doing here? Oh, hey, an egg! A thing fell from the sky. It's an egg. Probably should've... Of course, they can't go through the portal, which is good, but I'd like to send them through the portal, you know? Oh boy. It's okay, I think I'll survive. Ah, run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Oh god, don't get hit by that thing. Don't get hit by that thing. Don't get hit by that thing. Woo! Can I get hit by it? Oh, those enemies are mutants. They, 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 you, I don't think you can kill them. If you can, it takes a lot of shot. Oh, yeah. There's more of that bouncing effect. Geronimo! Why is this so scary? Oh, God. So many flying magic. Oh, God. I'm pushing a zombie mutant thing. Oh, God. <laughs> There's a checkpoint. Thank goodness. Oh, no. Oh god. Yes, game. I get it. I have low life. Thank you, game. Ah! Punch! Ray gun. No! Stop that! You guys are so annoying. I'm just gonna punch you in the face. Ah! Where did you come from? Oh, hey, you can kill them. This took a lot. Usually it takes me a lot of shots. Maybe it's randomized though. I don't know. Whatever, we're gonna go through this portal eventually. I'm just getting all the atoms and stuff. Atomos, atomos. Just gotta get the atomos. Oh wait, no, this way is not the right way to go. This way goes further. I thought there was just some stuff back here, but... Turns out it goes further. Well, that's not the right way to go. I didn't want to get too far off the beaten track. I've been trying to avoid that.
And that is why I don't like this level, because you have to switch your weapons really quickly. Alright. Now let's punch this thing open. Whew! Let's open the crunch gate. And go through it. Ugh! Stupid fruit. Okay, Ugh! Ah! But no one told me there was a mine. Well, I knew there was a mine there. I should have known at least because I've played this level many times. Ah! Oh yeah. So usually it doesn't happen. There we go. Maybe I just keep missing. Or may maybe enemies have temporarily temporary immunity at least on this level because I know brain aliens don't. Got some batteries so I don't run out and get surrounded in an area of the. Thing. Also, should be noted, do not activate that teleporter. Lead you astray. I've been leading you away from most of the bad teleporters in this game. That one was just unavoidable, so I'm just letting you know. There are some bad teleporters in this level. Oh, no! I knew he was going to punch me. I knew he was. And I'm trying to punch you. And it's not working. Run away! Oh boy. Run away, run away, run away, run away, run away. Uh, uh, no, I'm running away. Screw you, flying saucer, I'm running away. Now I believe this one you do want to go through. I believe. I'm not sure. Oh no! Whew! That was a close one. Ah! Scary man! Alright. There's a brain alien over there. Ah! Oh. Dang it, game! Yes, game, I know, I have low health. Stop beeping at me. Are you kidding me? Kidding me, there weren't any. Screw you, game. Screw you. Oh, hang on. Hang on a sec. I believe. No, didn't I act? Oh, I didn't activate this gate yet. Ugh! This game is very rude to me. Very, very rude indeed. Yeah, this level makes you go for a while without checkpoints at some points. Like this one. This is a time where it makes you go a while without checkpoints. As opposed to level 2, which had like checkpoints every foot. So, I'm gonna try to avoid the mines. Here I am, at the end of the level. Close, close to the end of the level. But, whatever, it's close enough. And that's going to be the end of this video. I forgot to take my timer out again. So hopefully this is under the allotted 15 minutes. I'm pretty sure it is, I'm, but I'm terrible on keeping track of time. So we're going to blast off of the rocket, we're going to go into outer space. Yeah! Outer space. Oh, we finally escaped them. Alright. Now, let's see here. Let's burn these humans for fuel. The scientists, the scientists burn really well because of their shirts. They're very flammable. You'd think, a lab, you'd think a lab technician would wear very not flammable shirts, but it turns out they do. It's weird, isn't it? So, yep, that's the end of that level and this episode of Let's Play Automatic, so I'm going to save my game and see you next time.